Hi, and welcome to Music 2175, Music Theory and Ear Training 2. I'm Liz Pauley, and I will be your instructor for this course. I believe most of you worked with me last semester, but mostly as a talking head in Zoom or in some of the course videos. This course is a continuation of the concepts that you worked on in Music Theory 1. We'll dig more deeply into these topics, especially the concept of harmony. Last semester, you began learning some of the strategies that composers use to create meaning in music, essentially musical grammar. This semester, you will learn new chords and how to use them, and we'll work with the concept of harmonic progressions, how to organize harmony to create energy and relaxation in your music. You will begin to work with the concept of musical form. A good deal of the work that you will do will focus on a specific formal structure, chorale style voice leading. While this, while this is an old form, its simplicity and transparency makes it a great place for you to start to apply some of your newfound skills. You'll continue to refine your sight singing and ear training skills as well. As in the previous semester, this study will help you learn music more quickly, improve your listening skills, and give you tools for composition and musical analysis. This is one of my favorite courses to teach, and I hope by the end of the semester you love this as much as I do. Now here's a few things you may want to know to get started in the course. First of all, online participation is required during week one of this course, so make sure to log in to D2L and get started right away. Second, this course can be challenging, so let's keep our lines of communication open. I'm here to support your learning. If you have questions about the course, please feel free to post them in the Ask the Instructor discussion forum on D2L. If you have questions of a more personal nature, please reach out to my campus email, which is Elizabeth, that's E-L-I-Z-A-B-E-T-H dot Pauly, P-A-U-L-Y, at Minneapolis.edu. Finally, I want to remind all of you that you have free, unlimited Zoom accounts from school. Why is this important? Because you can use Zoom to form study groups. I strongly recommend this, and I will provide a discussion area. I will provide a discussion area to give you a place to help set that up. I think you will benefit from this, both the academic support as well as the community you can build. And don't forget, I have Zoom office hours Mondays and Wednesdays from 9 to 10:30, and Tuesdays from 9 to 10. You can find my link in the weekly course announcements. I'm looking forward to working with you.